you guys have been becoming like cyber besties. <laughs> Every time I'm like, who are you chatting to? <laughs> You're like, just the data again. Yeah, she's a really cool girl. stuffs up and you press it down and instead of just going straight it goes everywhere I just got it in my eye it is very early and I'm off on another adventure today maybe I'm off <laughs> I won't it's perfectly safe all right mm -hmm. I love you and Louis because you're a little jelly guy I love you too mm -hmm. All right, I better go so I'm not late because this is one thing I really do not want to miss out on. All right, have fun today, whatever you're doing. I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. Jamie's actually gone to his adrenaline activity thing that he's doing with Josh today. I'm going to be at home and be bored. <laughs> I was like, I wish I can come because obviously I can't do that. I'm pregnant, but it would be fun to do all those activities as well. Maybe after I have Ava, I can go out and do some fun stuff. But anyways, just chilling with Lou today. We are just gonna work on my hair. I say we, but <laughs> obviously it's just me. I'm gonna sew my hair in and today we have our second um, birth class. So <laughs> we'll let you guys know how that goes. Last week was all right. It wasn't that amazing, but hopefully I'll learn something a little more interesting this week. I think he was a little worried that he was going to be late, of course. It's not Jamie if he's not worried about being late. He hates being late more than anything. So I'm sure he's like stressing out a little bit about that. <laughs> I can just imagine him. And traffic is so bad. I left about an hour early, but I've been stuck in traffic for about a half an hour. I'm just hoping that I'm not late. No, no, I'll be right. As soon as I get on the highway, things will get better. Just getting to the highway. I just arrived at Port Melbourne and I'm going flyboarding. I'm so excited and a little bit nervous as well, but more excited. I first saw flyboarding when we visited Dubai and I was blown away by it. And ever since I've been obsessed with the idea of trying it out, but I didn't actually know you could do it in Australia until recently. So you guys have to see this. If you look like right in the middle of the camera, there's a guy like pretty much like flying in the middle of the ocean. That looks like the most fun thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never done anything like it before. I've been told that it's one of those things that you can pick up first time, so I'm really hoping that's true. Also, I just wanted to remind you guys that throughout the month of November, to encourage you guys to get out and share an experience with a friend and go out and do something exciting rather than just, you know, like liking exciting pictures on Instagram like we're all guilty of doing, adrenaline.com.au is giving away hundreds of experiences. So I've left the link in the description box all you have to do is go on there, say what experience that you want to do. There's all sorts of really cool stuff you can do like skydiving, luxury car drives, uh, flyboarding, helicopter rides, all the way down to really relaxing stuff like chocolate making classes and massages and so many other things. Like literally you'll go on the website and you're just like, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that, 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 that. Just for entering the competition, you automatically get a $30 gift value to use on adrenaline.com.au anyway I'm about to go meet up with Josh and the guys and this is gonna be really fun I'm so excited we have topless Josh in the building yeah. <laughs> you ready for today bro you good you good you ready for it um, I'm very warm <laughs> it's quite chilly all right we're here we're here this is the right one how are you guys yeah, man. I'm Jamie nice hey, to meet Jamie. you man 
Yeah, you too, buddy. So, quick question. How warm do the wetsuits keep us? Very warm, man. Very warm, so yeah. we're good. We're you're going to be cold until you're going to start to get the adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to be hot as... So, how you feeling, bro? How am I feeling? How you feeling? Excited, man. How do you reckon we're going to go? I reckon I'll go alright. How do you reckon you're going to go? I hope I'll go alright. I, I literally have no idea how I'm going to go. I've never done anything like this in my life. Confidence. And it seems like we got some pretty good teachers. So I've got this jacket to keep me a little bit more warm. Mr. Topless Josh, because he's such a fitness freak, he's like, I don't need that. So let's see if he starts crying about the cold when it's he gets like, in there. Just so everyone knows, it's not actually that cold. <laughs> Jamie's just crying. What? It's, it's 14 degrees. Mr. BJ come down. He's going to be filming. They're gonna come and demonstrate how to do it professionally, and then we're gonna demonstrate how to do it like a bunch of morons, probably. Nah. Nah, Josh is gonna demonstrate how to do it really well, and then I'm probably gonna fall over a little bit and then pick it up at the end. Oh, I reckon I'm gonna be first one. Like, yeah, the club just. I wanna invest in one of these jackets to wear to a club. I literally feel like Yeezy right now. You look like it, man. Me and Josh, we're just pacing around. Like, excited. Josh is already getting in the water. I just want to see if it's cold. Bro, you don't want to know if it's yeah, cold. It's cold. Literally, yeah. Literally, you do not want to know if it's cold. <laughs> ah, here he comes. I can't believe we're going to be flying. Since the dawn of time, man has wanted to fly. I am Andrew. That is Iron Man right there. That is so sick. about to get in. Wishes luck guys, wishes luck. I just got out. Josh is still in there because his session started later than mine. He's got a bit of extra time. He's killing it. Look at this. I mean, I picked it up at the end, but this guy, look at him, he's doing bloody dance moves out there. That was so much fun. The water wasn't even cold. Okay, Josh. Kill it, bro. Oh, she killed it out there, man. How are you such a natural? Uh, surfing, man. It's the, uh, it's the same sort of concept, just really high up. At the same time next week or what? I'm down, man. I'm down. down. Let's get all the boys. Yeah, let's do a big boys we'll shit. Yeah, gonna get BJ in on the next one. I'm so jealous, brother. You're in on the next one, bro. I'm in the next one for oh. sure. This was so good, man. Yeah. Like, amazing. The feeling, especially when you go high up. You literally, you feel like, well, I guess you are, you're flying. Yeah, it's, yeah you're flying. It's, we say, why walk on water when you can fly? Obviously, when people want to do this, they go through adrenaline.com.au. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they look up? How do they find you guys? Yeah, go fly boat. Thank you so much. We'll get out of these right. wetsuits. We'll come back down. And awesome. Appreciate it so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back, man. Yeah. Like, see me in a couple of weeks. Yeah, for sure. My mission is I want to learn how to do one of those dolphin dives that you were doing before. How long do you think it will take me to Next do time, I promise you, do backflips. Promise? Yeah. I'm going to take you up on that. Yeah, for sure. Cool.
Uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. See ya, man. So Josh is just teaching me how to use Snapchat. By the way, guys, if you want to follow us on Snapchat, it's just the same as our Instagram name, Jamie and Nick. Come or, from, or, or, or follow him at Topless Josh. I think that's Topless Josh. What's your Snapchat, bro? My Snapchat is um, the T H E underscore C Wolf. So the letter C and then Wolf. It's sick. Follow us both. I don't post topless photos, unfortunately, guys. Neither do I. Or should I? No, I right. really shouldn't. Never should. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I need, I need to start going to the gym first, and even then, I don't think I would do it. <laughs> Have fun today. Thank man. you for today. You're a legend. I'll see you before you go to Japan. Done. I'll see you before I go to Japan. Cool. I'll see you all later. Enjoy. He's the man. Say hello to Nikki for me. I will, I will. Yeah. There's your camera. birthing class tonight, man. Oh. It's gonna be interesting. He's got the Max's studio. Hey up, bro, man? long time no see, man. Man, this studio looks sick. I used to do, do a lot of assisting work for Max. Yeah, Max has a feature film coming out soon called A Bit of Lime, which went to Guyana in South America to film. Man, this space is dope. How long have you been here for? Oh, just about six months now. So is all that yours as well? Yeah, we got two layers. Yeah, wow, this is such a creative... Yeah. This is such a creative space, man. I need something like this. Exactly, man. Production studio is the way to go. <laughs> I feel inspired being in here. It's very different to my uh, little office. When I got here, it was just I Max. Now it's like a party. I know you see me too. I you know what I'm doing. <laughs> My boy here is giving me some advice on, on how to get through the birth, what to say and what not to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Pretty much you have to say nothing. The only thing you say, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes, 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 that's it. You just have to now be calm and just be in control. That's all pretty much. Whatever she said, don't say nothing. Just be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, I need a Yes, baby. Okay. I'm sorry. There's That's... a point in a man's life where you, ah. where you can cry. You can cry if you're a man and you cry for that. It's a beautiful moment, you know. Bro, that's, yeah, that's just me, man. I respect that. I bet you, you pass that. Yes, I'll probably cry too, so I'm yes, not gonna fry. Yes, you said nah, it's good, um, bro. Not, not that bad, though. Not Everyone cry, like even yeah. all so emotional. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine your first baby. Yeah. Your first son, you you definitely cry. Yeah. You don't. You'll be really happy and see like. It's just happiness, tears. Yeah. And you, you had a daughter as well. Is it true what they say? They always say daughters are always daddy's girls. Like. Yeah, they are, man. And that my little girl looks exactly like me. That one. She's she like, looks just like you? She's like me. Don't say she looks like you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say it. I can't What other advice do you got for me? Man, nothing. You just be ready, that's all. I make sure you hit the gym and you know, be <laughs> just gonna fit. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I was talking about that just last week. Because I, I hadn't been to the gym in about two years. Like, I've gotten so unfit. I had my first gym session last week. <laughs> Five or six laps, yelling, banging our swords and shields, just right. <laughs> just yeah, okay. yeah, spoken, just spoken in the car park. Yeah. Hamish and Andy make peak hour traffic a whole lot more bearable. Just heading to our second birth in class. Hello, <laughs> man. You eat that apple so loud, you're like. <laughs> you sound like you're making out with it. I'm getting a little jealous. It's actually the best apple I've ever had. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I'm looking at Nikki like. That apple looks so good, I really want one. She's like, there's millions of them in the fridge. And I'm like, apples are one of those things that always look so good when somebody else is eating them. But when you look in the fridge, you always seem to just want to go to the junk food. What are you doing? You like Instagramming? No, I'm just reading Adana's um, message. I've been messaging my couple. What up, Adana? So Adana from Adana and David. Um, she sent us the cutest gift for baby Perkins, or well, actually Ava. That's just how it gets so like... <laughs> it's like weird, we could actually say Ava now. It's very weird that we could say Ava now. Anyways, it's a makeup free day guys, excuse my face. My Ava! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I haven't really got to hang out with her today. I missed her. I missed both of you. But yeah, as I was saying, Adana sent us the cutest little outfits for um, Ava. So I gotta go shopping tomorrow and get something for baby S because he's gotta be swagged out too. But yeah, she's really cool. We we uh we talk back and forth on Instagram and she's just like 
we can relate to a lot of things. It's nice to have someone that I can like vent to and stuff because we're kind of due the same time. So our pregnancies are pretty similar. You guys have been becoming like cyber besties. <laughs> Every time I'm like, who are you chatting to? <laughs> You're like, just the daughter again. Yeah, she's a really cool girl. So shout out Adana if you're watching. Today's class was actually really informative. We watched a C-section. And that was pretty intense. We oh. watched like the epidural go in and all that. And that's kind of scary. I was like, ah! I don't want you to have to go through all of that. Oh, it's too late. You done knocked me up already. One of these classes I go to makes me realize how unprepared we are. It mm -hmm. scares me in the way that I feel like I should have been more prepared before now. Mm. Like we don't have our birth plan, we don't have our bag pack just in case. You know what's weird? I'm not the type of guy to get emotional watching videos. But when that baby was born after the C-section... Oh, that I, was so nice, yeah. Yeah, I... There was I, something about that baby. I was like it that was in that so too. beautiful mm -hmm. like I was I kept looking at the floor I'll be honest during the whole c-section during the whole cutting I was you know I was looking down and then I was looking up then I was looking down and I just wanted the video to be over I'll be completely honest all of a sudden you see this beautiful baby and the father touching it and imagining about our baby and it just being hours and how beautiful that experience is going to be and how much I can't wait to just touch our slimy little baby and not care about the fact that it's all slimy and bloody and just okay. want to like kiss it even though it's like covered in slime and gross stuff and not care because it's just our little baby and yeah I like I did actually get kind of emotional watching that and I was like wow I didn't expect to feel this way, just watching a birth of somebody else's baby. I, was, I got emotional when they pulled the baby out and they like cried straight, like it's first cry. Mm. I was like, oh, it's like it's first cry ever. I didn't see that bit. There was something interesting on the carpet and I was like, oh. But it was so cute. It was just like, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what a cute fatoot. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, it was it was good. I think it's important to do these birthing classes. Like, if you're having a baby, especially for the first time, I would highly recommend doing them because they do make you realize how unprepared you are, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have to make more of an effort to be prepared because well, we're, we're on that be home stretch be now. Be Sorry. Be Every time you say I can be never prepared. say be prepared without you ever <laughs> without you doing that. It was since we watched Lion King again. Like I can't. You cannot say be prepared, and I, I'm just not going to song. So, do you? Feel, how do you feel after it? Do you feel a bit more prepared? Do you feel more nervous? Do you feel better? How do you feel? I don't know. I was a bit nervous when we were in there, but now that I'm out, I kind of feel like okay. There's quite a few things we need to do. Mm. Like, let's get them done. That's how I feel. Mm. I'm not so. Like, yeah, I'm scared, but. I'm, I feel like I'm more excited now. Yeah. Especially like these last few weeks have been super hard. And I know the next few weeks are going to be like even harder. But I just keep in my eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're watching Heroes. So we're gonna, we're go gonna love and leave you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you like this vlog, don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe leave us a comment and don't forget to check out the adrenaline giveaway and if you guys want to try flyboarding which i highly recommend adrenaline do it all over australia it's not just in melbourne i've already been on facebook today trying to organize another boys trip where a bunch of us boys are going to go and make a day of it that'll be fun guys we're not really like phone people we like to go out and do things that's how we bond that's why like guys go fishing or guys play sports together that's our way of bonding, so it's really good to get out and do this stuff, so yeah. I'm glad you had fun. I definitely did. You seem like you had a hell of a lot of fun. I had a blast. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. You guys need to come to the beach in Dubai. I have never experienced water this warm in my entire life.
It's like you're in a bath. Like it doesn't even feel refreshing because it's so hot. It feels like you're having a bath, it's that hot. It's cool.